Humans have been the smartest creatures on the planet for a long time, but why our species appeared to do nothing remarkable over the first 200,000 years has long been a mystery to many. In fact, the abrupt emergence of human culture, over a stunningly short period continues to be one of the great enigmas of human evolution. Indeed, it's as though a sudden spark ignited the modern human brain. Unfortunately, anthropology only demonstrates the radical nature and the consequences of the dawn of human culture. The cause for the drastic change in behavior in the early modern humans is unknown, but the most plausible explanation for the success of modern humans is a sudden biological change. A fortuitous mutation may have promoted the fully modern brain, but as far as the evidence shows, this spark did not occur in the brains of the Neanderthal. In comparison to all those who had come before them, early modern humans were so intellectually, technologically, culturally advanced, had such a complex brain, and appeared so suddenly upon the earth, that some would say this sudden mutation was the result of extraterrestrial intervention. Star Trek Fleet Command, a game that transports you to the fabled Star Trek universe, is sponsoring this video. Imagine plotting your course through space, assembling an unstoppable fleet, and taking part in intense combat, protect your starbase and increase your power throughout the galaxy, the open world of the game allows you to freely explore a vast and diverse space landscape, my personal favorite feature. The game's breathtaking graphics bring the virtual world to life with extraordinary details and breathtaking visuals, making for an incredibly immersive visual experience, iconic Star Trek figures like Captain Kirk and Spock, as well as well-known vessels like the USS Enterprise give the game a nostalgic feel. The immersive new Star Trek provides you with an entirely novel experience that explores alternative dimensions and storylines, which infuses new life to the Star Trek universe, presenting a captivating, one-of-a-kind storyline to interact with. Epic battles with players from all over the world add a dynamic and competitive edge to the game making for an exhilarating experience. New updates include officers Trip Tucker and Topol plus new missions, 10X Core SD, Enterprise themed missions and 10X side missions, and Wave Defense introduces a new way to interact, based on Wave Defense teams that transcend alliances. Download Star Trek Fleet Command using the link in my description, then go to the official website StarTrekFleetCommand.com and click the store icon, open the promo codes page, and enter the code Warp Speed to redeem your rewards, install the game now and start your journey in the Star Trek universe and become the leader of a mighty new alliance. However, the neural mutation hypothesis is the most economical explanation of why anatomy and human behavior drifted apart. Fossilized skulls reveal little about the brain underneath, but a gene mutation may have changed critical neural processes, such as speech and language, and a recent scientific study has confirmed the neural mutation hypothesis to be correct. Though the Neanderthals' brain was bigger than their precursors, around the same size as the modern human brain, we can learn from Neanderthals that size doesn't always matter. Regarding Neanderthal man, one early anthropologist wrote, darkness characterized the being to which the fossil belonged and the thoughts and desires which once dwelt within it never soared beyond those of the brute. Inevitably, modern humans advanced far beyond them in the last 50,000 years of coexistence. But what makes your brain different from a Neanderthal's? According to a new study, Neanderthal's diverged from modern humans only 408,000 years ago. This is when a mutation in the TKTL1 gene, switching from lysine to arginine in the human brain also occurred, leading to the eventual emergence of modern humans. Scientists have discovered a mutation that increases the production of brain cells and seems to have set our ancestors apart from other hominins. Scientists have discovered a glitch in our DNA that may have helped set the minds of our ancestors apart from those of Neanderthals and other extinct relatives. The glitch, a chance genetic mutation in effect rewired the brain in some critical way which arose in the past few hundred thousand years, spurs the development of more neurons in the part of the brain that we use for our most complex forms of thought, according to a new study published in Science. In recent years, neuroscientists have begun investigating ancient brains with a new source of information, bits of DNA preserved inside hominin fossils. Scientists zeroed in on potentially crucial differences between our genome and the genomes of Neanderthals and Denisovans. Human DNA contains about 19,000 genes, and the proteins encoded by those genes are mostly identical to those of Neanderthals and Denisovans. 
but researchers have found 96 human-specific mutations that changed the structure of a protein. Scientists have known that a gene known as TKTL1 becomes active in the developing human cortex, especially in the frontal lobe. We know that the frontal lobe is important for cognitive functions. When the TKTL1 gene mutated, our ancestors could produce extra neurons in the frontal lobe. While this change did not increase the overall size of our brain, the mutation reorganized the brain's wiring. This fortuitous mutation may have promoted the fully modern brain. It's remarkable that such a small change has such a dramatic effect on the production of neurons. The human brain allows us to do things that other living species cannot, such as using full-blown language and making complicated plans for the future. For decades, scientists have been comparing the anatomy of our brain to that of other mammals to understand how those sophisticated faculties evolved. Beginning around 70,000 years ago, tools and weapons started taking new form and shape, becoming sharper and more durable. Creative expression starts to surface, as well in the form of cave paintings, jewelry, and sculptures that testify to an unprecedented level of culture and sophistication. As stated, the exact cause for the drastic change in behavior in the early modern humans was unknown, but the most plausible explanation for the success of modern humans is a sudden biological change. As human brains reached modern size hundreds of thousands of years ago, and skull size didn't change drastically, this mutation would have affected cognitive power rather than overall brain structure. Our brain also has distinctive anatomical features. The region of the cortex just behind our eyes, known as the frontal lobe, is essential for some of our most complex thoughts. According to the study, the human frontal lobe has far more neurons than the same region in chimpanzees does. But comparing humans with living apes has a serious shortcoming, our most recent common ancestor with chimpanzees lived roughly 7 million years ago. To fill in what happened since then, scientists have had to resort to fossils of our more recent ancestors, known as hominins. Inspecting hominin skulls, paleoanthropologists have found that the brains of our ancestors dramatically increased in size starting about 2 million years ago. They reached the size of living humans by about 600,000 years ago. Neanderthals, among our closest extinct hominin relatives, had brains as big as ours. But Neanderthal brains were elongated, whereas humans have a more spherical shape. Scientists can't say what accounts for those differences. One possibility, is that various regions of our ancestors' brains changed size. Backed by improved linguistic abilities and a capacity to use mental symbols when working out problems, early Homo sapiens would have been a deadly foe. In fact, a creature armed with symbolic skills is a formidable competitor, and not necessarily an entirely rational one, as the rest of the living world has discovered. 40,000 years ago, and with the demise of the Neanderthals, the early modern humans gained dominion over Europe. On reaching Europe, the rewired modern humans, once known as the Cro-Magnons, outsmarted the resident Neanderthals, driving them to extinction by 40,000 years ago, and leaving their indelible cultural mark on the land. Via the spear thrower, a modern human's hunter or warrior could toss his weapon an incredible distance and at a tremendous velocity thus greatly enhancing his killing power and range. In effect, the spear thrower acted as an extension of a man's arm and enabled a man to almost double the distance in which he could throw a spear. He could easily impale and kill an animal or another man standing anywhere from 70 to 150 yards away. This device consisted of a spear that was fitted into a long hooked rod, about 1 to 2 feet in length. Like all their tools, the spear throwers were elaborately decorated with fine carvings, etchings, drawings and paintings of animals such as horses, deer, bison, birds and fish. These tools and weapons were also made from a variety of substances such as reindeer antlers. The modern human also realized that a spear covered with barbs, harpoon style, would do much more damage than a smooth point. Nevertheless even with barbs, animals often were not killed outright and the mortally wounded beast would sometimes run for miles before falling down, and dying. 
The modern humans, therefore, created grooves alongside the bone spearheads so that blood could more efficiently gush from the wound, thus speeding the process of dying. In addition, perhaps 70,000 years ago the first bows and arrows apparently came into widespread use and the arrows appear to have been feathered so as to stabilize their flight. With the creation of the bow the hunter could now remain completely hidden for if he missed with his first shot the animal would not even know he was there so long as he stayed downwind and out of sight. The hunter could now shoot again, and again. Indeed, early modern humans were the greatest hunters of their time and unlike those who came before them, they were able to easily kill antelopes, bison, wild horses, reindeer, mammoths, and even lions and bears. Research suggests Neanderthals fashioned tools, buried their dead, cared for the sick and even conversed. But why? if they were so smart, did they disappear? As Neanderthals retreated into present-day southern Spain and remote parts of Europe toward the end of their time, modern human beings were right on their heels. In fact, early modern humans were superior warriors and hunters, who forced out the Neanderthals. Modern humans are very competitive and really good at using projectile weapons to kill from a distance, they also probably worked together better in large groups, providing an edge. Neanderthals had little to offer modern humans, except competition. Diversity in tool-making is the hallmark of early European modern humans. 35,000 years ago, a typical tool kit consisted of well over 125 items, for example, knives for cutting, whittling, stone saws, chisels, perforators for making holes, needles, scrapers for bone, others for skin, pounding slabs, and more. Many of these tools were attached to wood, bone and antler handles, or were made of these items including ivory. There have been a great many experiments at being human preceding us and none of them made it, so we should not think poorly of Neanderthal just because they went extinct. In the end, Neanderthals, though handy, big-brained, brawny and persistent, went the way of every human species but one. However, Given that Neanderthal possessed the very traits that we think guarantee our success should make us pause and think about our place here on Earth. And with that tantalizing statement, we leave you to ponder the mysteries of our human history. Until next time, stay curious, and stay questioning.